All right, guys, uh, I, I love to start off with, um, I know we played a game tonight, which is great, but I, I'm excited, too, about our future. Um, you know, we signed you know, five really good basketball players that I think it you know, can certainly help us in the future. Uh, it helps us continue to develop our culture. Uh, when you look at the guys that we signed, all five of those guys fill a need for us. Uh, I'm excited about this bunch. Uh, you know, when I took the job, I wanted to get some homegrown guys that could be able to certainly uh, help us win a championship one day. Four of those five guys are from the state of North Carolina, and that was a priority for our staff and me. Uh, give, our, give our staff a lot of credit. I thought my assistant coaches did a tremendous job recruiting those guys. Um, uh, it's an exciting class. Um, I'm ecstatic about those guys. And when you look at the guys that we have in the program, taking consideration the fact that Thomas Allen is sitting out, who's going to be a really good player for Nebraska, and then uh, C. Braun, who will, is an um, academic red shirt, who has a chance to really be good. And the guys that's returning, uh, I think we're headed in the right direction. I know we're headed in the right direction. So excited about that. Uh, I'm excited, man. I I'm pumped about this class. And uh, it was one that uh, we needed to have. It was one that I felt like that was going to be good if we got the pieces uh, that we really wanted. And there's not a guy on that we recruited in this class that we didn't get that we really wanted. They were all guys that um, you know that we prioritized that we knew that we could have a chance to get. What was it like seeing the, the way Josh Hollis changed over the last couple of years? And then how much has Cam Hayes kind of helped piece that class together? Well, you know, so Cam Hayes, he – and he, he texted me um, when Josh committed and said, man, I did a great job. Like, what are you talking about, Cam? Yeah. But Cam is, Cam is um, you know, it's, it's becoming popular for guys in state to come to NC State. And that's one of the things that I wanted to happen. You know, uh, we've lost some of those recruiting battles. It's always been tough because um, we've got some pretty good programs in this state. And a lot of times, some of those guys have decided to go elsewhere instead of coming to NC State. Um, and we won a couple of recruiting battles here where uh, even when guys didn't go to the, to the schools in the neighborhood, they would leave and go to like schools uh, for instance, Florida State or Maria Clemson or somewhere else. Uh, with this group of guys, they decided that NC State was good enough. And, and we only do well with people who want to come to our program. And I'm excited that. You know, uh, all four of the in-state guys felt like this program was good enough for them to come here. Uh, it started with Manny Bates. Uh, Manny Bates was recruited, and he could have went to uh, a lot of programs, but he decided to stay in state, and uh, I'm happy for him, and that's why I want him to do so well, and the other guys that's coming to the program will do the same thing. Is that been either a little bit like Manny? A little bit more... Um, a little bit more skilled offensively at this point than Manny. Um, he, he actually uh, can step out and do a few more things than Manny, but he's a, he's a tremendous shot blocker, similar to Manny. Kevin, was this recruiting class, I don't want to overthink it, but was it at all, did they have to see you like in these first two years at State to kind of see how you did things and how it played out? Like, was this at all a culmination of, of everything or it, was it just, as you said earlier, your assistants identifying these kids, making them priority? Yeah, I mean, we started, uh, majority of these guys that we signed, we started from the day we got here recruiting them. And we started building a relationship with them. Uh, we started selling them on the opportunity to come to NC State and get a great education. And we talked about a lot of things, our fan base. Uh, we talked about the opportunity to play the style of play that we play. We talked about you know, uh, you know, obviously being alumni of NC State. And I just think it worked off. Uh, I mean, we worked extremely hard for these guys and um, give them credit. Um, all of these guys could have chosen to go somewhere else and they decided to come to NC State. How much did the team camp in June help in terms of valuing guys like Shaq and Nick Ferrar? I don't know that, I, I knew they could play. And, and team camp is so tough because um, you know, most of the team camps you don't have, so a lot of the teams don't have their entire team. Most of the football guys are away playing. So you don't get a true understanding of how good um, each guy is. It, it certainly helped that I could spend a little time and watch them play. I don't think that made, uh, as far as me deciding whether to take them or not. I think you know the, the biggest jump is Josh Hall two or three years ago, I think he was in team camp. And um, I mean, that kid's gotten a lot better. He's grown, 
Um, he's talented. He's put on a little bit of bulk. Um, he's gotten better. Uh, I could say that about each guy. Nick is a kid that came from nowhere and, and certainly uh, disappointed in Nick tonight a little bit because he played against Broughton and it was KJ's first varsity game and Nick beat him bad. So you're going to have a little extra suicide for that when he gets here. You he he can never beat the coach's son on his first game ever. And Nick won the game. So, But I'm excited, man. Cam Hayes, is uh, he's a talented guard. He, he reclassified back up to his um, – Regular class, he can play the one and two. Uh, really good basketball player. Uh, when you talk about Shaq Moore, he, he's probably one of the best defensive guards in the country. Um, you know, the last time I watched him before this weekend, uh, he's a guy who stepped on and made seven threes. That's not who he is. So certainly, you know that, that he's able to do those type of things. Um, but I love the bunch. I, I love what Ebenezer brings to the to the to our class. Uh, not only are those guys uh, good basketball players. But they're good people, and all of them coming in with a really good academic background. And I wanted to, you know, if I can get uh, two out of the three, I'm lucky. But with the majority of those guys, I got three out of three with those guys. So I'm pumped about that. Knowing that Jack can play off the ball as well, I mean, how much does that help you knowing that you can have a backcourt with Cam and Shaq at the same time? Yeah, that's a good, that's a, I wouldn't have never taken Shaq if um, he was just locked into being a point guard. Um, he was a combo guard. And, and it's so funny, the relationships has grown because each guy with Cam and Cam and Shaq played together in AAU. And I asked him uh, after we, you know, we got the commitment from um, Cam, I said, would you, do you mind playing with Shaq? And they were all for it. It was weird how this relationship has developed with those guys because we would go back and call them and say, how do you feel about playing with so-and-so? How do you feel about, and all of those guys like, man, I'm excited about it. So hopefully we got some special in this group. Um, I would love for those guys to develop a relationship before they get here. Uh, because I think if they do, they'll come in as a strong unit and get better in a lot of areas. Thanks,